welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Amazon. We were just talking about this in the sale video, and I'm going over this here because, again, I called another trade in this. Why? It's lower. Again, momentum, momentum, momentum. So many people that trade are afraid to trade momentum. They want to do something the opposite of whatever it's doing. Like, someone could say, oh my gosh, Melissa, what do you mean it's lower? It's five days down, it's three days down, it's ten days down, doop a doop a doop. It's selling off. What are you going to do, go long something that's selling off like a hot cake? I mean, first of all, the market's selling off today. Second of all, this just broke another area. It just broke 85. So, you know, again, one of the things that I teach people is how to rate a gap. That's number one. But number two, I also teach people about institutional buying and selling. This is getting sold off. How do I know? Stock gap down today and is following through as we speak. So yesterday and Friday here, we closed at 87.86, boom, open in the morning here at 87.51. This is a nice fat red bar on Amazon today. You could have been short this early out of the gate. And again, this is up two and a half dollars on the day if you did do it out of the gate. So while people love to do things that are retail traders that they think are tricky, actually common sense is the way to go if you want to make money in the market. It's really not that hard once you know what to do and how do you find the best gaps. So I teach a class once a month, it's called the Golden Gap Course, and in that class I teach how to rate gaps like Amazon to determine that this is lower. Now people say, oh my gosh, well, up. well but yeah, but except for the fact that sometimes things gap down and they reverse and sometimes they gap up and they go the other way, that's true. We had a gap up here that dropped. Okay, I did not go along this though, just so you know. And there are gap downs that reverse too. Here was one right here. Here was one right here. Okay. So you have to, again, look at each individual day. You can't always short of a gap down. You can't go long of a gap up. And you can't do the opposite. Every single day is unique and different. And that's why the points, the 26 points are so vital to make the decision. Do I want to do this today? Again, how to make money in the market is you've got to play the odds when you're trading. You have to set your risk and you play the odds and you put the odds in your favor, all right? Nothing is 100%, but we try our best. You know, I'm close to 80% of the year for the newsletter. It's just been a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous year. And I mean, I'm on a hot streak right now this month, I'll tell you that. Not just in the letter, in the, in the room as well. So Amazon is lower, just in case you're wondering. It's 2.30 in the afternoon to start out. Less than two weeks left in the year, a few more days. You can count the number of trade days left in the year. And the market just won't budge an inch. There's no reason that anyone wants to go long here. So why would they? You know, I'm not saying we don't rally any days between now and the end of the year. But something like this, it was a beautiful short. If you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap class in January, next class is January 28th and 29th, email me at melissa at If you have any questions, have a great day.